So here we have a, a standard Arduino project and we're going to debug a library alongside this project. So first we're going to want to set up the debug options and because we're using an Uno we're going to use the GDB stub and the links are available to this extra library in the description. So you're going to want to set the no project and libraries optimization option in this scenario to ensure that the optimization is disabled for your library. So first we're going to add the AVR debugger library. This is the GDB stub. This just enables the debug functionality. So the headers are automatically added in and then we just need to add the debug init and breakpoint code to allow the GDB stub to work. So now we're going to want to add our library in. So if we go add libraries, now first we're going to want to check the create shared project when including libraries. This allows it to be debugged easily. Then there are also some additional clone for solution and clone for project options which are explained in the video which is shown up here. So now we've checked that option. If we just click the survey library to add this to our sketch. Now we see in the Solution Explorer that a reference has been added to our shared servo library project and we can see all the files within the servo library here. Now the survey library is for multiple platforms so there are a number of CPP files so we'll need to find the right one for our platform so we can debug it. There we go. So we found the one we want to actually debug with our sketch and in this example we're just going to go to the writer method and add a breakpoint in there now of course we're going to actually need to call the write method from our sketch so if we just add in the bits from the servo example So we need a servo object and a position and this is just from the sweep example. So there we go. Now we can see we call the guy right method in two places as it sweeps from one side to the other and we've got our breakpoint set. So that's all we need to do. So now we're just going to go check we've got the right port selected all our other options are set so we can just press start debugging and this will do the build and the upload and launch the debugger in one step for you there we go we can see we've stopped on our breakpoint in the library servo write method and we can see we've got our locals and autos all the usual debugging features are available so now we can even add a break continue to that step over it and then step out and use all the standard debugging features so it's very useful if you're writing your own library and want to run the debugger against it or if you're trying to find out what an issue is in an external library.